RFA is a cool Roblox Formula 1 game. It has over 3 million visits and is an experience I would recommend you give a shot. While the public servers are okay, I think their private servers are better than ever. After a lot of updates, they have made something that works very well. And in this video, I will show you everything you need to know about RFA's private servers. We are in my private server and uh, to activate my admin controls all I have to do is go over to this cheeky little button and it will open this admin panel. There's also this little setting button which will go over this right after we go over this. So first of all there's the admin section. This is where you can add admin. So for example if I was to add let's say HVSK I just put his Roblox username and it adds him. Obviously, he's not in the server right now, but people who are in the server can just be added to this list. And obviously, there's no option to remove them once they're in there, but if you do shut down the server, it will automatically reset. All right, to set a race, all you have to do is you go um, to the top. So first of all, you wanna set your quality time. So let's say I wanted a five minute qualifying, and then for race laps, you could put any number. I'm gonna say 10 laps. And then all you have to do is press start, and that automatically starts qualifying right over here. Uh, uh, just a quick note, basically, when you join in the RFA private server, you will be able to see that there is a quality timer that's already been set. And there is a problem where if you just go ahead and set your own like time and th thing, obviously for the race, it, that timer will interfere with yours. So basically, the, the race will begin when the original qualifying is over and not the one that you set. So to fix this, when you join the server, press end first, so it will end that, and then you can set your one just uh, just to take that in mind for a better experience. So after that timer finishes and the drivers have set their laps, all the drivers that have set their laps, just like in the main game, uh, they will be able to race, but those who haven't qualified, then uh, yeah, they won't be able to do so. After that, the next option we have is over here, it says prices currently on. This is for the car. So at the moment, if you want a car in the game, you have to pay for it. But let's say you are hosting a F2 league and not everyone has the F2 cars. So what you can do is you, you can press off and all the cars will be free to drive. Obviously not the Robux ones, but the ones that cost um, RFA dollars. All right, the next thing you have over here are these uh, little funny texts you have for practice, whatever this is, qualifying, test, and track. So basically, these don't really have any function, but what they do is like, for example, let's say you wanted this not to be a qualifying session, but just to be a practice session, you can just change it to that. If it's a test, you can put that and whatever this is track i guess you can do that so i guess that's just a little gimmick i guess it, it could help with like some leagues and stuff like that all right and after that we have probably what is the best thing rfa has done to briefly explain before if i wanted to choose a specific track i would have to use the toggle map cycle and there was this option to just change track and you just have to hope that you would get the right track, which was very, very annoying. But luckily, in a recent update, they have finally fixed this, and now I can choose the tracks that are available. So let's say I wanted Silverstone, I just press Silverstone, I wait for it to change, it does take a bit of time. Right, and with that, we are at Silverstone. So obviously you can change uh, any tr to any track when you want. The loading time does take a little bit, but uh, at the end, uh, at the end, it does end up loading improperly, uh, which is pretty cool. So right now we are at the brand new Silverstone, which uh, looks pretty cool from here. And the last thing, it's uh, very obvious. It's this toggle map cycle. So all you have to do, press that button. It will stop the, the counter. So you can see now it says map change in map cycle suspended. So it means until I change the track, everybody in the server is stuck to Silverstone, which is a very, very useful feature. Like without this feature, it'd be pretty silly because let's say you're having a 20 lap, 30 lap uh, race around Silverstone and all of a sudden the, the, the map just changes because I guess the time went off. So, I mean, they've had this feature before, but uh, you need to know what it's for, which is convenient. And now the last uh, thing, we have these three colors. We have red, green, and yellow. So obviously these refers to the red flag, the green flag, 
and the yellow flag and they also work as announcements so let's say i can use the yellow for example and let's say for example there is a safety car so i press submit and uh, it takes a bit but it, it shows up right over here so every driver will be able to see that message and they will know that they have to slow down this is the same for the green flag and the red flag it's the same function so yeah so it, it's pretty I, I think this is a pretty cool thing to have all right, and that's about everything you need to know about how, how private servers work. Want to get one of these servers for yourself? These are 200 Robux per month. But I would say with the updates that they have made, it's actually worth it, to be honest. I mean, it might be a, a bit for some, but uh, with all the features that they have, it's pretty good. And honestly, my final conclusion is that this, uh, this system, it's a pretty simple system, but honestly, it does the job. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. If you have enjoyed this video, do make sure to like and subscribe. Consider becoming a YouTube member or sending a super thanks to support the channel. And thank you to Rootsal, Beast, and Creeperman for being ultimate members. Goodbye.